Well, welcome to Trade Pro. In this video, I have the Darvis box strategy on the four hour chart for Bitcoin, and I'm going to test it 100 times in a row to show the true results. So, this was requested a few videos back in the comments section, so I finally gotten around to it, and it looks very simple and kind of interesting. At least there are strict rules to follow, so there's no confusion of when to buy and sell. It gives you the signals. Um, but I've added a few tweaks um, to hopefully improve things. All right. So I'm going to go through, explain the strategy. Um, I'll show the indicator first um, so you can see which one I'm using. So Darvis, oops, here it is, this one right here. And I just have the settings on default, which I will show here. Period five. And I've added a 200 EMA just for the longer term trend direction and to help filter out some of the ranging markets. So how I'm going to do that is when you have the box uh, that's over the 200 EMA. So we have this side and this side, both opposite one under one above the 200 EMA, you cannot take any signals during that time. All right. So it's going to save a lot of the really bad signals in the ranging markets when things are just trading right along that 200 EMA. So you could not take this buy signal right here, but you can take this buy signal right here because it is fully above the 200 EMA. And I'm talking about the box itself. So this purple line is not under the 200 EMA while the blue is above. It's fully lifted off. Um, so this would be no. This one would be yes, yes, no, no, no. So you get what I'm saying, right? So it saves you from all these, or, a, or at least half of these bad range trades. So hopefully that will clean up the results a little bit. But um, how I'm going to be doing it is just simply doing stop loss down to the bottom side of the box on the buy or sell signal. So for a buy signal, the stop loss just goes under the purple line, bottom side of the box. For a sell signal, stop loss will go above the blue. So if we get this sell right here, or we can't take that one, but for this one right here, stop loss would just go right above the blue. And I'm just going to be targeting 1.5 times the risk uh, for this test and just see how that fares. Um, as I've never tested this strategy before, so obviously this one's a fail and this one is a clear winner. And another thing to note is on the times when you have a box that is defined and there's multiple sell signals or buy signals all within that same box, I'm only going to be taking the very first signal that's given until a new level is made. So I'm not going to be counting this as one, two, three, four different trades when I'm doing the back testing, as I don't think that would produce nearly as accurate results um, to what it would be like trading it real time, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so really simple strategy, and there's a bunch of videos about the strategy on YouTube and they have made some quite ridiculous claims on some of the videos as trading uh, the trading industry tends to do um, but we'll see how it really performs looks like this one was good this one was good looks like this one potentially good oh yeah definitely good okay this one was good so we have a few good ones Looks like this one gets stopped out, stopped out. It's a good one. Stopped out. Good. Good. Ooh, does that one get stopped out? No, that's looks like that one's good. Yeah. Well, you get what I'm saying. Let's see how this thing does over a series of 100 trades. Time to get into it.
The results are in after 100 back-tested trades with the Darvis Box strategy on Bitcoin's 4-hour chart using a 1 to 1.5 risk-reward ratio. There were 49 winners, 51 losses, the most lost in a row was 6, and the most won in a row was 5. The gain on the account, 22.5%, assuming no fees. So probably more like 15 to 20, depending on your broker and the fee structure. So this strategy is essentially just buying or selling a breakout or a first close outside of a range. So this outlines a range of price data, which... I mean, you could do on your own, but this is a little bit better than doing that on your own because this isn't subjective. This gives you an exact entry um, for a buy signal or a sell signal. So I could see someone doing a little bit better using this instead of just outlining the range themselves and deciding where they want the breakout uh, entry signal to be. Because, you know, new traders, this is that that way of doing it is not going to benefit them because they haven't developed the emotional control and the sort of rigid strict system that they need to be using if they want it to be profitable so having a really rigid strict way to do it where you just wait for a buy or sell signal is a lot better um, the only reason this was profitable was because the 200 ema kept this in the direction of the trend, kept entries in the direction of the trend, I should say, and also kept a lot of those horrible range trades uh, at bay. So otherwise, this would not have done well at all. And, you know, it still didn't do very well. So I would say that this is not going to work very well, especially on things that are not strong trending assets. Bitcoin's a strong trending asset, so a lot of the time it did extremely well and then got eaten up on some of the more choppy periods. But really the strong trends on Bitcoin is what saved this thing from not going uh, much lower on that gain on account figure. But it's still in that mid range of out of all the indicators and strategies I've tested on the channel so far, it puts it in that mid range on the spreadsheet. I'll pop up the spreadsheet now so you can see. All right, so here's the spreadsheet and it falls right at the bottom range of the mid tier strategies and indicators just above that bad range below 20% gain on account. So essentially based on this test, if we're going just based off this test here, this strategy is not the thing you should be using. Uh, you probably want to look up higher on this list if you're looking to make good money as you know, near this top strategy got nearly three times the gain on account over a series of 100 trades. And that's that's quite the significant difference. And in trading, you want every percent that you can get. All right. It's important at, to stay consistent and successful as a trader to squeak out every percent that you can get when it comes to improving a strategy and optimizing the system. So yes, this strategy could be improved through different optimization strategies using the best optimal risk reward ratio, making sure that there's hidden divergence um, in play, that you're using a higher time frame trend confirmation and other things that you could use to filter out trades. But you probably want to do those things with some of the better performing strategies and you're most likely going to have better results in the end. But if you love breakout trading and you just really, really want to be a breakout trader, then go for it. You can still be profitable doing it this way. And that's really what we're after. All right. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a fantastic day.